and welcome back to this week's bonus crack with the crackheads with myself Kegs and me Shannon. So for anyone who's new here this is a podcast for the gals and for the gays and for anyone who's up for a bit of crack. Yeah think of this as your crazy group chat with your big brother and big sister. So this is a wee bonus segment where we do like a wee game of sack or crack or we have dilemmas that we answer that you may send in that we never got time to answer on the main episode or if there's anything else you'd like to see in the bonus crack episode just give us a wee message and we might try and include it for you. Okay so dating a boy since October and he cheated on me with one of my close friends they now go around rubbing it in my face that is absolutely shocking I apologize that that has happened to you what the hell oh I just hate cheating like Mm -hmm. I said this in the main episode this week it makes me physically sick like I just feel like if you have it in you to cheat on someone you're such a you're such a shitty low person Mm -hmm. like it just says so much about someone to me I'm like if you right this is my thing if you're unhappy in a relationship leave yeah leave don't cheat because yes it'll hurt the person that you're leaving but it'll hurt them more that you're cheating Mm -hmm. so if you're i hate when people say but i didn't want to hurt them i didn't want to hurt them like you hurt them more you're still see you next tuesday do you know what i mean i I don't know i don't don't even know how to comfort this person i I don't know i would just say block these two people out of your fucking life block off everything don't want to see it don't want to be nervous don't go looking for anything they're posting just just stay away from them harming yourself if you go looking Mm -hmm. for it so just but i would just block 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 like and also i feel like people who get with their friends partners are insecure in themselves they're jealous of you and they want what you had so that's why they don't like they're completely insecure in themselves and you just be the bigger person and like obviously maybe get like therapy or try and heal from this whole situation because mm-hmm. it is tough like you definitely it'll get you down like a freaking stuff like that and just down try well. and remember that they're probably good for each other if they were both able to do that like let them go live their sad little shitty lives together yeah it probably won't last anyway but still yeah well let them, <laughs> let them do their thing honestly it's yeah. not under control then fuck them bitches <laughs> i agree thank you for sending it in we love you um answer that one Got two offers for university to study social work. Queens or Ulster through Belfast Met. Which one should I choose? Any tips for organising and studying? P.S. Absolutely love you both. Thank you so much for Same. the nice message. Both and congratulations. Yeah, congrats. That's actually well sick. done. Yeah, yeah, well done. I you got you done amazing. Well done. I actually don't. Ulster is where is that Jordanstown? There's a few Ulsters. There's one in Belfast as well. So like all I, universities. I wouldn't have a clue. Something. I can't even give advice on that. I honestly can't because I never tried to even go to uni. So I don't know anything about unis, like I anything would at all. I say I don't know either. I feel like I've had a wee taste of uni. I would say speak to people who may have studied the course in mm-hmm. like both universities if you can find any and mm-hmm. um, get their advice, see which ones maybe you suit better or just have a look into the universities and see which one you want to go to more. And um, if you get into both, freaking fantastic, amazing for you, well done. You'd rather have the option that you have to choose than like yeah. not have the option at all. So 100%. But I can't give advice because I'm not a uni gal. And any tips for organising and study and I wish I could have some myself. <laughs> to be fair, I feel like if I was to go back to school now, I'd probably be a lot better. Because oh, I would be so much better right now. Yeah, whenever I was younger, I I was, I was literally just flied through school and I didn't really study. And I just didn't enjoy revising. It was like, if I remembered something, I was going to remember it. If I revised, it wouldn't have made a difference. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So now, though, I'm so organised. Like, I think I've spoken about this with you before. When it comes to my work and my social media i'm i have like little folders for everything and everything's in a poly pocket i'm so organized invoices and everything i i do i check up on all that stuff every single day and everything yeah oh my god i I do every single day (laughs) i go and check what's being paid what invoices need sent and i really keep on top of things fair and i I told and i every month like really I, I have a big day at the end of the month. Like I spend longer on it, but I, I do. I spend like ages on it at the end of the month. But I'm I do a daily. Anyway. I do a daily check. Um. So I feel like I've got a lot more organized as a person, and I enjoy doing stuff like that. So I think if I was to go, I keep kicking something. I think if I was to go back now to school and learn something, I would maybe enjoy the aspect of being organized with mm. revision and stuff more, and writing out notes. I know for me, this I it doesn't really relate to doing revision. Yours is a lot more intense. But for me, I make sure at the start of each day or the night before, I plan when I'm going to sit down and do my invoicing and do my checks and do my emails. And that makes me stick to doing it. So maybe make sure you set aside that time in your day yeah. to study. 
for me when I'm thinking back and studying I always like to be very neat and tidy and colour yeah. coordinated like a colour coordinated everything I had like a wee pen case of like every different colour and I always made it my you definitely tell I was gay if you looked at my <laughs> fucking pages at school because I was so neat so tidy everything was colour coordinated and gorgeous <laughs> looking everyone used to the teachers used to use all my work as like display for all other students I was like yeah <laughs> I loved that's it that's me <laughs> um, but I always liked organising that way but I also looking back now because I know that I've got ADHD now I'm like oh my god I left everything last second like I crammed last second and even doing this podcast I leave it to the last second yeah. I mean, like, everything's just last second or I'm not I'm very much so things need to be done now I actually spoke about this before so and someone said it, it sounded like I had OCD mm. I spoke on a TikTok about this I don't know let me know if anyone else is like this probably the complete opposite to you in a way of leaving things last minute. Um, I have this thing that really tiny, insignificant things grinds my gears. And if I don't resolve it, I can't move on to my next task. Really? And it's like over the top. Like the most, I'm, try, I'm trying to think of an example off the top of my head. The only thing I can think, so say I'm, this it happens all the time. If I'm packing to go away on holiday, right? Mm. And I'm like, oh, I need to bring my hair curler. And I can't find it in that moment. I can't continue packing until I find it. And I will have literally a mental breakdown. I know I'll find it, but yeah. I will have a mental breakdown. Or if I, I'm trying to think of what the, the reason this, like I made the video. It was like, I was looking for something that I knew I didn't really need or something. But because it had popped into my head at that point, I couldn't actually continue with my day until I mm. found this thing or I felt like everything was going to like spiral out of control. Yeah. And someone was like to me, it sounds like you have like mild OCD. Really? And I was like, hmm, interesting. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, Who I'm, knows? I'm a bit, uh, a I... bit, a bit, I need everything done now and then. Fair. Yeah. See, I'm not like that. I leave everything last second. But one thing that I've just came to my head there now that might be a good tip is that whenever you're doing tasks, obviously we've got loads and loads of stuff to do on your to-do list, always try and do the thing that's like most challenging or like the most first. work first because it releases dopamine when you actually put effort into things. So if you release dopamine doing that first task, it's then easier have, to continue. Have motivation for yeah. the rest of the stuff you need to do. I need to get better at that myself. Like I know that's how my brain works and mm -hmm. I need to like get better at doing that. But I always end up doing the easier, the nice, simple tasks yeah. first. And then I'm like, <laughs> no time to do the big one. But yeah, good luck with everything. You, I'm sure you'll make the right decision. You are incredible for getting into both choices. Well yeah, done well you. done. And we love you. Thank we you love so much. You. Right, we'll do one more on the bonus crack, all right? Because so, I'm really hungry. I'm starving. <laughs> what should we eat? I want to go to wing it. I've never been. I never haven't been either, but like I'm really not, I don't know, wings all over. To be you fair, don't, you can get boneless ones. I might try the wings anyway. Just yeah, to apparently it. they're really good. Okay. Um, I mean, messy, at least we're not on a date. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I am an Australian girl who has fallen in love with an Irish fella who is six years older than me. He has moved back home and we barely, we aren't together anymore and we re we regularly talk. I am wanting a future with him, but unsure if I let it go as it's the distance and I am not sure how to have the convo. Six years. I used to think six years is a big difference, but it's not even. That's the magic number. <laughs> that's what we were speaking about last week because Keg was speaking to someone that's six years younger than him. No, I did so. love that TikTok. I can't lie. Did you? Yeah, because I you sat and edited that and everything. No, it gave me the fear. Like, and it was it, doing good. I kept it for the actual podcast listeners, not just yeah. randoms on TikTok. Like what if I, I I made so for anyone that doesn't know last week's episode we spoke about Keg speaking to someone that's six years younger than him and I sat today for hours doing editing for our social media <laughs> and one of the videos was about him talking about this because it was funny like <laughs> do you know what I mean like it's legal they're both consent and adults you know what I mean he deleted it I apologise I just couldn't you I, just shit head. I okay. think I've had anxiety all day anyway and I just topped it off I was like no I can't be our I still have it saved I'll repost it when your anxiety's <laughs> gone I'm joking I'm joking but yeah so, I would say that is a difficult one. Are you willing you, to move to Ireland? The thing is, you need to have, you just, she's saying she's nervous to have the conversation. You just need to have the conversation. Yeah. Like, that will answer so many, because there's no point you sitting worrying about it if he doesn't feel the same. Mm -hmm. So, you having that conversation, literally just put it in your head. If I don't have this conversation, it's never going to get resolved because it's not. Mm -hmm. So, you need to have that. And if he says that he doesn't feel the same, you can start to move on and heal. Yeah. If he says he does, then you can worry about what are we going to do here? Are you going to move to Ireland? Is he going to move to Australia? Are you going to do long distance? Then you can take them steps to work mm -hmm. that out. I think I would move if I fall in love with someone. 
I, and they wa- they were willing to make it a go, I would I think I would move country. So yeah, I don't know. I think I would move. So unless unless I had like big commitments for my future here, yeah, if that makes sense. Like in a country. They See, do. I but then it's because I'm such a home bird. So like, obviously, I don't I don't have the same situation. Mm-hmm. But my boyfriend moved to Australia before I moved, and he asked me to move with him when he was moving, and I just said no. Mm-hmm. And then he was putting off not going then, and I was like, look, you have to go and try this, whatever. And he moved. And then six months in, he was like, please, can you come? You know, whatever. And if I wasn't going, he was going to move home though. Mm-hmm. But I just was like, let's give it a go. Let's try. But I can honestly tell you that if whenever I wanted to move home from Australia, my boyfriend didn't want to. Done. Done skis. I'm not joking. I know he wanted to move home anyway. And I know yeah. he'd always said that and we were on the same page. But I hate to say it. I... I wouldn't move somewhere for someone. I wouldn't, even if I loved them endlessly. Because you love it here. Yeah, I just love home. Do you know what I mean? Mm. So it's it's hard. It just really depends. You just need to sit with yourself and see if that what uh-huh. you want and have the conversation, babes. Mm-hmm. But I love how we've got an Australian listener. Yeah, like, that's hey, so girl, cool. Hey, girl, hey, Australians. That's so cool. <laughs> um, so but cool. yeah, you got this. Let us know how you get on with the conversation. And if you move to Ireland, give us a shout. Yeah. But yeah, we love you. Thank yeah, you so definitely. Much. Yeah, sure. give us a shout. <laughs> Friends. Um, so yeah, that's going to be our dilemmas for this week. Our little extra. Our little extra set segment. On. So thank you so much for listening. If you have yet to follow or subscribe, do that for us now. We really, really, really appreciate it. We love you. Love you. And we will see you on Monday for our main episode. So yeah, thank you so much. We yeah, love you. we're going to get chicken wings. I'm, I'm starving. starving. <laughs> love you. Bye. Bye.